to show us his top tips on buying chickens. Take it away, Curtis. Well, listen, you know, this is important because I think when you go to the store, you're not sure, is it fresh, is it not fresh, how do I get good product, right? You need to get good product. So here's one of my um, first tips about knowing whether chicken is fresh. Now, if you push on chicken and it doesn't spring back, there's a good chance it's been sitting there for a while. So this one, to me, see how that's not springing back very that's well? Right. It's just sort of sitting down there. Where, with a nice fresh breast, see how it springs back straight Pops away? Pops straight up. So this one, much fresher than this one, so I would certainly pick the one that springs back. I also, if it's open, I always go to the counter with a live person rather than buying the packed out yep. stuff, right? Really smart. Because you really can see it, you can smell it if you want to. And in the packages, they put those little pads underneath to catch the drippings. And you don't know if that chicken's been frozen or not. That's right? true. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes because that will say. catch all the liquid. Whereas I know if I go to the case, that's fresh. Oh, look, sometimes you don't have time and you've just got to grab a pack, right? I get right. it. We exactly. run it through the store. Exactly. So here's another little thing that I always look for. Colour is important when you're looking for chicken. See how this chicken cutlet's nice and pink? Mm -hmm. And see how this one's going a little grey around... Yellow gr and greenish grey. <laughs> yeah. sort of, that greyness is something you really want to steer clear of. So if you see that, definitely choose the one that's more pink. Nice that's going to give you a fresher, yes. a fresher product for sure. I, I get asked a lot about this, the colour of the fat. Should it be white? Should it be yellow? The truth is, the, the more yellow... It, it relates to the chicken's feed, OK? Mm. So the more corn and the more sort of yellow feed it's being given, the more yellow the fat will be. So it's not a bad thing to have a little bit of yellowish fat. Um, it can go all the way through to white, though, and that's a little specific to its breed. So I wouldn't worry too much about the colour of the fat as long as it's not discoloured. You want it to be pretty consistent, all right? So this right. is a good example. It's nice and yellow, yellowy sort of a white all the way throughout. So that's good. I like to buy my chickens whole, and there's a couple of reasons. Well, it saves you a lot of money, and it also... You're kind of guaranteed of its freshness, in my opinion, because as a guy that owns a butcher shop, if you've got a chicken that you need to move, you're not going to try and sell it whole. You're going to cut it up and stick it in a marinade and get it up the front of the window, right? Right, right? So I think that you're much better off buying whole chickens because they're packaged like this, right? So there's there's very limited air coming into contact with it. That's air right. is you, your worst Air's enemy. Air is your enemy. It is when, you, when you're talking about fresh protein. This gives you beautiful fresh protein. And to Rachel's point, you can cut it up however you want. You can use the legs for something, the wings the for something else. the chicken breasts that you're buying, you're paying such a premium cost for just because they learned how to take the chicken off the bone. Right. If you learn that, you can watch a million videos. You also get the byproduct of the carcass itself, the bones and the tips of the wings. You can use that to make chicken stock. Make a stock, which sounds scary, but all you do is throw it in a big pot, you yep. cover it in water, you bring it to the boil, you let it go for about an hour, and then you strain it. That's it's it. that easy. Yeah, yep. you can put vegetables or herbs, but it can be that simple. So my advice is buy the whole chicken. Yeah.